They line up in hope that this job fair will offer something. Most of the faces you see here belong to mature people, older workers. But it turns out there's little for them. They feel you're too old. They spoke to prospective employers and faced rejection after rejection. They seem to be geared towards youth training. It's not for people like myself. We're able-bodied people that are willing to work. Just give us a chance. And that's the cry of more than 1,764,000 Americans between the ages of 55 to 64. Consumer Mojo's analysis of Bureau of Labor Statistics data found another 853,000 are discouraged workers, not even looking for jobs. There are very significant numbers of people who have been outsourced, downsized, um, let go from their positions at a very vulnerable time in their lives. Jerry Mendelson is part of a team that helps older job seekers find work. Many of them are in industries and in cohorts hard hit by the economic downturn and they are long-standing employees that have done the same thing many, many years. They don't have a skill set to translate into the new normal very well. Once an older person is laid off, it's much tougher to find a job than it is for a younger person. If you fall into this category, it may be because your skills need updating. Sue Resnick is a job counselor and trainer. The overriding issue is either their skills are outdated or unfortunately they are in fields for which they didn't play catch up in. I think there has to be ways of making older people our 50 plus workers more attractive in the workforce, helping them to be able to become more technologically independent and confident so that they can be a more productive team member. Tip one, update your resume immediately. Include anything that makes you special. Include the foreign language or languages you speak. If you can bring something to an office environment or any environment that no one else can, you have to put it on your resume. Tip two, make LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter your friends. Social media helps you connect to others who can help in the job search, and it may be important on the job. Tip three, research a company before a job interview. Tip four, choose an area or industry that you really want to work in. You truly have to love what you do. Tip five, think about reinventing yourself and investigate new fields to work in. So can a 45, 55 year old person get a job doing something that he or she loves? Of course. Unfortunately, all of this means that you may have to compromise, maybe take a lower salary or a position that's not as great as your last one. We'll continue to report about older workers, so if you have a story, please let us know.